Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Quantum Ideas. So today I have brought some of the hard questions from the last year digital sat math exam. So let's get started. So let's see number one. In a XY plane, circle has center C with coordinates X, comma K. Point A and B lie on the circle. Point A has coordinates H plus 1, K plus a root under 1, O2. And angle ACB is a right angle. What is the length of AB? So let's draw a circle and see what's happening. Okay. So we have a circle. A circle with the center at uh, C, H, comma, K. No problem, right? So point A and B lie on the circle. Okay. So and there is a one point to be noted and angle ACB is the right angle. That means, okay. Let's say a point A is here, but they have to satisfy a condition, right? They say this is the point A, this is the point A, okay, and this is the point B. And what the question is saying that the angle ACV this is 90 degree, right? So basically these two are radius, right? This will equal this because these are radius, and we have to find the length of AB. That means we have to find A with this one. Okay, length of this one, right? This is basically this is the right angle. We have to find the length of the hypotenuse, okay. So let's see. So what we are given? The coordinate of is A is given that is H plus 1 K plus root over 1 or 2. Right? So what we have to find? First we have to find this radius and this will equal this. And we have to use Pythagoras theorem. Okay. So how can we find uh, the radius? Okay. We can use the this C and this A. Okay. Now we use the distance formula to find AC that is our radius, right? AC will be equals root over what is our distance formula? Let's say this is our x1, this is y1, and this is our x2, this is our y2. So basically, our distance formula is x2 minus x1 square plus y2. Okay, let me transport this here. Okay, minus y1 whole square okay so this will be uh h cancel out k cancel out so one square plus root over one or two square so this is basically root over one or three okay so this is the radius since uh ac will be equals to bc will be equals to one or three no problem now we have to find the av so we can use the pythagoras theorem right here that is h square that is hypotenuse is what a b so h square a b square will be equals to b c square plus a c square no problem so what will be basically a b a b will be root over b c square plus a c square this will equals to so what is b c square since b c is uh, root over 103 103 and b c square will be 103 and a c square will be also 103 so that will give you the answer root over 206 unit okay so our answer you can check in the option answer is uh, root number 206 is our answer okay so let's move to next number number two is quite long okay a rectangle is inscribed in a circle such that its vertex of rectangle lies on the circumference of the circle the diagonal of the rectangle is twice the length of the shortest side of the rectangle the area of the rectangle is 1089 uh, root 3 square units what is the length in units of the diameter of the circle okay let me draw the figure so we have given a circle and a rectangle is inscribed inside a circle okay i think i can make it or not i don't know okay this is basically rectangle right oh no okay let me try I think I can or I don't know. Okay, nearly I made it. Okay, so let's say this is the center of the circle and this is the rectangle which is inscribed inside a circle. And we can see here this vertex lies on the circumference of the circle. We can see it. And what we have to understand here is that if we make a diameter of a circle, that a diameter, or we can say, okay, this will be the center. So what I mean to say here is that this diameter of the circle 
or we can say not that okay diagonal okay this is the diagonal right this is the diagonal so this diagonal of rectangle will bisect bisect uh, radius of circle basically uh, what we can say that if okay okay this is the shortest side right this is the shortest side of the rectangle let's say this is x then what happened is that this diameter or diagonal will be equals to x we have to understand this okay so basically what we are saying that if we inscribe the rectangle in this way yeah in this way uh, the diagonal diagonal of rectangle will be equal to diameter of the circle you have to understand that okay this is the fact okay now we have to solve we have given this as x we have given this as 2x and this is the right angle so and we have given also the area so to find the area of the rectangle what we have to understand area of the rectangle is basically base into height okay if i say this is a this is b and this is c so what is the base is basically a v and height is b c so we have to uh, we have given area also it is 1089 root 3 right and we have to find the value of x first okay so can we do that let's see okay let's find the base first this is the base to find the base what we can do we can use the pythagoras theorem again so again f square equals to p square plus b square that is ac will be equals to root over a b square plus b c square right so what is our ac is 2x uh, root over what is a b square a b square is we have to find out and plus what is our bc is x square okay we have to square on both sides this will be 4x square equals to a b square plus x square so a b square is basically 4x square this go to that side 4x square minus x square is 3x square so basically a b will be equals to square root of x so this is our a b okay now let's go and plug it here 1089 root 3 equals to what is our a b root 3 x what is our b c b c is also x so this is 1089 root 3 equals to root 3 x square root 3 is gone so x square equals to 1089 okay so what will be x will be square root of 1089 so what is the square root of 1089 so let me check root over 109 is basically 33 so we have the value of x so we got x but the question is asking what is the length in diameter of the circle Di uh, sorry diameter of the circle is 2x or we can also say it is the what a diagonal of the rectangle so basically diameter is 2x that is 2 times 33 so that is 63 unit okay so our answer is 63 unit okay <coughs> let's uh, move to number 10 if you are new to this channel please like share subscribe comment okay and love this channel so let me move to number three okay Get it off so we have given x values on the table and we have given the function gx the table a uh, table shows three values of x and their corresponding values of gx where gx is basically fx divided over x plus 3 and f is a linear function what is the y intercept of the graph y equals to fx in the xy plane so first our target is to find the function fx because we have to find the y intercept of that function fx okay and the point to be noted is that the question is not saying anything nature okay it's not saying anything or uh, it is not giving nature of gx so we don't know the nature of gx what kind of function it is if it is linear or quadratic we don't know but what we know is the function fx here is the function f is a linear function that means we can find the function f of x using the slope point formula 
or finding the slope but we don't know anything about gx so we have to find fx okay if we are given gx is also linear function then we can find gx and then we can find fx but we don't know what kind of function is gx so by using this relation we have to find fx okay so to find the fx you can use this formula so what we have given so gx equals to fx over x plus 3 and find fx from here fx is basically gx times x plus 3 so for example to find fx first uh, plug here gx is 3 into x is here is minus 27 plus 3 now let me use calculator so minus 27 plus 3 will times 3 that will give you minus 72 so fx will be minus 72 similarly you can find these points by plugging down here minus 9 and 0 if you plug it you will get 0 and if you plug 21 and 5 you will get the value 120 so you will get f of x now see you only need two points right to uh, to find the equation of a line and that will give you f of x so now let me use the slope point formula that is y minus y1 is equals to m x minus x1 so y will be simply equals to m x minus x1 uh, this go to that side that becomes plus y1 okay now what can i do is that okay let me clean it as no, no no so we don't need g of x so let me block it how can i block it okay let me just cancel this out okay so we have x and fx okay let me write here so x is minus 27 and minus 9 okay i'm also uh, only taking two points okay two points is enough so and zero okay let's say this point is uh okay this point is x1 this is y1 and this is x2 and this is y2 let me plug it and slope is what basically y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 okay let me expand all the formula okay now let me plug it to find the equation of line that is y y is basically f of x so what is our y2 y2 here is 0 okay you can see here okay okay y2 is 0 y1 is minus 72 x1 is minus 27 x2 is minus 9 i am going to plug it down okay so what is our y2 is 0 y1 is minus 72 minus minus will be plus 72 divided over what is our x2 minus 9 plus 27 so what is our x1 minus minus plus 27 uh, y1 is minus 72 so this is basically 72 divided over 27 minus 9 shall produce 18 so x plus 27 uh, minus 72 okay so what will be this will be uh, 72 is divided by 9 yeah uh this will be basically okay let me find this fraction okay 72 over 18 this uh, when divided by 9 that will produce 8 9 to 18 okay 2 4 this will be 4 this will 4x plus 27 minus 72 this is 4x plus 4 into 27 is basically 108 minus 72 this is equals to 4x 108 minus 72 36 this is basically plus 36 is our f of x the question we have the key here okay so that is f of x is here um okay so we have to find the y intercept of this function f of x so what is y intercept to find the y intercept we have to plug x equals to 0 so f of x will be in that case will be 36 will be our y intercept so the question is asking y intercept right okay so the our y intercept is 36 and 36 is our answer we have to note that okay let's move to next number and if you like my video please hit that uh, subscribe button so let's go to number four a circle in the xy plane has its center minus one one line t is tangent to the circle at the point 5 comma minus 4 which of the following points also lies on the line t okay let's me draw a figure so we have given a circle 
with center at let's say uh, minus one comma one okay this is basically what c is h comma k in notation form okay and t is a tangent okay let me make a radius so this is the radius of the circle and tangent will just toss a point at the circle can i make it nearly okay let me touch it and move it little bit okay i cannot move exactly make tangent no problem okay this is the point of contact let's suppose this is the point of contact okay this is the point of okay okay this is the point of contact and we know this is the tangent and this line is t and then this is d and this is 5 comma minus 4 now we have to understand that since this is a tangent okay this is a tangent line and this is our radius this is our radius and they are always what perpendicular to each other okay sorry okay okay now which of the following points lie on the line t so we have to find the equation of line t we have to find the equation of line t first and then we have to check if this point lies on that line or not so to find the equation of line we have to use these given conditions to find that we have to find the slope of the line cd that is the uh, slope of the radius and since uh, radius is perpendicular to the tangent we can use the condition of two tangent line that is if two line are tangent the product of their slope will be equal to minus one okay so first of all let's find the slope of the line cd okay the slope of cd will be equals to we know the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 or y2 is 5 no no sorry minus 4 minus 4 minus 1 divided over x2 minus minus plus x1 so this is basically we'll get minus 5 over 6 this is the slope of line cd so we have to find the slope of line t now slope of t will be cost to what uh we know slope of line slope of line cd into slope of line t will be equal to minus one slope of line t will be minus one over slope of line cd right so that is minus one over slope of line cd is minus five over six this will be equal to six over five okay now we have to find the equation of the line t okay therefore equation of line t we can use the slope point form that is what y minus y1 will be equal to m x minus x1 now let me take the slope from here and we yeah, we know the point right so what is our point uh, point that lie on the line t this is the point of contact right this point so that is point will be d5 comma minus 4 will be taken as x1 y1 so y minus what is our y1 is minus minus plus 4 slope is 6 over 5 x minus x1 is 5 so y will be equals to 4 go to that side becomes negative so this is 6 over 5 x right uh, and 5 will cancel if i open the bracket okay so that will be minus 6 and this will be minus 4 so this will be equals to 6 over 5 x minus 10 is the equation of the line we get okay now we have to check if this given option lies on that line or not so let me write here so basically okay we are given what y equals to 6 over 5 x minus 10 you can plug and check one by one okay if you plug here x 0 you will get y as minus 10 right if x is 0 you will get x as minus 10 so this is near here answer okay if you plug here 4 you will not get the answer okay i know the answer actually so let me show you so if you plug here 10 you can plug one by one if you see 6 by 5 if you plug here x as 10 then you will get 5 2 that is 12 minus 10 is cos 2 okay when you plug in 10 you get the 2 so that is your answer when you plug the x you will get the y right it satisfies the equation so option c is your answer okay so you can solve like this pretty uh not that hard but it requires a lot of steps so these questions are pretty tough in those cases when you have very less time to solve yeah in the exam so you have to uh, prepare for this also okay 
let's move to number five so we have given here the equation of the circle okay in quite a standard form with this in uh, showing center and radius right so this is the equation of the circle we are given the graph of the given equation is the circle in the xy plane the point a v lies in the circle which of the following is a possible value of a okay so we know that equation of circle is standard form is that is x minus h square plus y minus k square equals to r square and our center will be c h comma k if you compare we'll get c uh, minus 4 comma 19 right so this will be our center and radius will be equals to r square that is uh, r square is 121 that means our radius is basically 11 okay let me draw the figure now so this is our circle let's say circle has the center at c uh, what minus 4 comma 19 and we have the given the radius what is the radius is basically 11 okay radius is 11 and uh, let's say a point that could be any point right uh point a v lies on the circle okay okay any point is uh, lying on the circle no problem uh, uh a v could be anywhere right it could be here it could be here it could be here no matter where uh radius will always toss the point right since radius is always equal no problem you can make it anywhere okay no problem okay so uh to find the possible value of a okay first of all we have to uh, create an equation and then we have to substitute the value maybe so what we can do is we can plug the points a v on the equation of the circle simply okay so we have given this equation of circle is x plus 4 square plus y minus 19 square equals to 121 and what we know here basically we can use here basically distance formula i think that will be much more easy to solve mm, let me see this xy are the points okay yeah we can also do like this very simple just uh, plug the point this xy as a b since this a b point lie on the circle they also satisfy the equation of circle right so you can do like a plus 4 whole square plus b minus 19 whole square will be equals to 121 okay this is our equation and we have to check which of the option will satisfy this one and we will find the value of a now let's see if you plug the value of a as minus 16 let's see okay minus 16 plus 4 square plus b minus 19 square will be 121 and this is what minus 16 plus 4 is what basically this is minus 12 right so minus 12 square plus b minus 19 whole square equals to 121 this is basically 144 right plus b minus 19 whole square equals to 121 you can see here this equation will not will not be satisfied since uh, this is al already we can see here okay let me see this is already greater right because 144 is already greater than 124 and if you add something here because the square is always positive it will exceed the value of 144 so this uh, uh, this cannot be your answer simply you understand because uh, to uh, okay, what I am saying is that to get this equation uh, what do you say satisfied both sides should have comparable value, right that is 121 will be equals to 121 but here we can see the number is exceeding 121 so let me use the second option that is minus 14 let me check i will check one by one so let's say if i plug here what minus 14 if i plug here minus 14 plus 4 square plus b minus 19 square is 121 so this is basically minus is uh, minus 10 square plus b minus 19 square equals to 121 this is 100 okay this could be answer right because since this is 100 and when if its value come to be 21 we'll get the equation satisfied so this could be answer right okay now this could be answer okay let's keep it on the list now let's check other 
if we use the uh, option let's say c let's check 11 if we add 11 here value of a 11 plus 4 that is 15 15 square will always exceed 121 so this is not our answer if you use 19 that will always always exceed 121 so that is not answer so our answer is b minus 14 so our answer is what b minus 14 is our answer so you can do like this okay okay simply i'm going to revise it again okay let me see so what do we use we use that point on the equation of the circle and check if uh, that equation is strictly satisfied okay and that should not take what that should that should not exceed the given 121 okay and other actually exceeded okay you have to check like inequality here so let's go to number six okay we have given the uh quadratic parabola okay the graph of the function y equals 2x square plus bx plus c is shown where b and c are constants what is the value of b times c okay we have given the equation of parabola y equals to 2x square plus bx plus c and we have to find the product of b and c okay so what is c c is basically y intercept you can see from the graph where the parabola is cutting the y axis so here you can see this is our c is equals to minus 6 no problem okay this is our y intercept simple so we can write here this basically 2x square plus bx minus 6 so no problem so we have to find now b we have already c and we have to find their product right bc okay to find uh, b we can use these uh, points on the parabola let me take very simple point okay this point you can see okay let me use rate this point if you see on the parabola this point is basically 1 comma 0 right so i can take that point 1 comma 0 so at at 1 comma 0 since this point lie on the parabola it will satisfy this equation okay so what is the value of y is here is 0 equals to 2 value of x is 1 square plus b into 1 minus 6 so 0 is equals to okay mm, 2 plus b minus 6 that will be 0 equals to minus 4 plus b so value of the b will be equals to 4 so we have the value of b and value of c so what we have to find is the product of bc therefore the product of bc is equals to 4 into minus 6 and that is the minus 24 is your answer you can solve the problem in this way okay so thank you for wa watching guys uh, if there is any problem or any error i did while making this video you can comment down i will pin that comment so that everyone can see and discuss so thank you for watching so see you in the next video if you like hit that like button comment and share subscribe thank you for watching bye bye